Matt Mercer reveals all about Candela Obscura. Okay, well, not all about Candela Obscura, but Matt Mercer reveals some about Candela Obscura. Just doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Compelling and rich. The first episode of Candela Obscura is due to hit YouTube this week, providing fans with their first look at Critical Role's new ongoing series and their new game system. Well, first look if you haven't already watched it over on Twitch a couple of weeks ago. Now, we here at the character sheet were among the first to interview the cast of the show. There was only one problem. Due to their incredibly busy schedule, we had to settle for an email interview instead of a video interview. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Didn't we do this yesterday? We ran into this problem before, and we know the solution. I'm going to read the answers, producer Pete is going to work his magic, and you're going to get your interview. So be sure to listen to all the interviews, because we also spoke with Laura Bailey and Robbie Damon as well. And in the meanwhile, uh, I've placed a vest on my computer, and I'm going to try to channel Matt as I answer these questions. How do I want to do yeah! this? So, our first question for Matt was, is there any difference in how you prepare for a horror-themed game like Candela Obscura compared to a fantasy game like Dungeons & Dragons? Matt's response was, there are many differences, beyond just leaning into the themes of dark mystery, looming danger, and perpetually growing tension, this genre is about power fantasy and heroic feats. The genre of storytelling plays best when the protagonists are capable, but fragile where investigation and clever problem solving is lauded over massive damage. These are tales where the odds are stacked against you, and should you keep all your wits about you as the danger grows, you just might succeed, or at least survive, or not. That is the thrill of horror, and keeping all of these things in mind as I prepare a game is of paramount importance. Our next question for Matt was, was there any additional challenges to preparing for and playing in a game that hasn't debuted yet? Was there more of a learning curve compared to when you prepare for new games on stream that aren't Dungeons & Dragons? Matt's response was, there's definitely a learning curve for both players and the GM. That is part of the fun of trying out a new system as well, fumbling through it as you go, realizing what you can do and what unique methods of tackling a challenge can succeed, and how to best utilize your character's specialties to keep you and your crew alive. Those moments are golden in those early sessions of a new game system. As a GM, being the arbiter of a new system is another layer of responsibility, but remembering that you are all in this together and to learn through each other is also important. We're here to have fun! That all being said, Illuminated Worlds and Cantella Obscura are quite streamlined with room to fiddle deeper with practice when compared to many other systems, so it wasn't challenging to pick up. Our next question was, are you a fan of horror movies and stories, and how did that impact and uh, how you prepared for and play in a game like Candela Obscura? Mant's answer was, I am very much a fan of horror. I grew up loving Alien, Nightmare on Elm Street, Evil Dead, etc., as well as classic horror video games like Resident Evil and Silent Hill. To this day, I adore good occult horror in particular. Shout out to Hereditary and The Empty Man. Mm, a plus choices there, Matt. Uh, for me, reconnecting with why I enjoy those films so much and how best to slowly draw my players into that terrifying sense of growing unknown danger was my overall goal. Revisiting some of my favorite bits of media in genre and capturing what I can of those vibes was part of the prep for me. So our next question for Matt was, one of the big challenges in the actual play space is that while streams and games can feature any type of game, it's often more lucrative or easier just to stick with Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Do you hope that Candela Obscura provides an example to other big streams to explore other games? Matt's answer was, I really do hope so. I love myself some d and I grew up with it, and it has been the spine of the industry for decades. That being said, while it can be altered to run genres outside of epic fantasy, many amazing tabletop RPG systems exist that can run these other genres with more grace, direct intent, and overall success. A plethora of systems only makes for a healthier gaming space and helps folks find differing and more unique experiences at the table. Amen to that, Matt. I hope this inspires folks out there to step beyond their comfort zone and try something new. They just might really like what they discover. And our last question for Matt was, what do you hope fans come away with when they watch the first episode of Candela Obscura? 
Matt's response was, For me, I want folks to have a good time getting to know the setting of New Fair, falling in love with these player characters, then beginning to fear for their safety as they fall deeper and deeper down the terrifying rabbit hole. With that, I want them to walk away feeling like this is fun to watch, but would also be fun to play without being intimidated to take a crack at it. It is something new, which is always intimidating, but wanting to dive into this world themselves and create nightmares. So that was our interview with Matt. Uh, be sure to check out our interviews with Laura and Robbie as well. And be sure to check out the first episode of Candela Obscura if you haven't. And also, you know, if you're still listening to this, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons.